In this tutorial, we're going to talk about creating a list with MailChimp. We assume that you have already created a MailChimp account and that you are logged into your dashboard. And you will see something here that says get started in three steps. The first one being to create a list. You can go ahead and click on that and this will allow you to build a list. So the first thing that we need to do is give it a news a name of the list. Let's go ahead and call this for example newsletter. The default from name. This can be the name of your company, your name, whatever you want it to be. I'll just put in my name. I'll reply to email. A default subject, you can change this every time you create a new campaign, but let's just go ahead and put in newsletter for now. You can copy the permission reminder from another list if you already have one, otherwise you need to tell people about how they got on your list. And you might say something here, for example, uh, like, you are receiving this email because you opted in at our website. And then you have to have contact information for this list and that's to conform to the CAN Spam Act. You can set your notifications as to how people respond to this and you can allow people to pick whether they want HTML or plain text. I recommend that you do that for each of your lists. So just check that box and hit save. Now once you have a list set up, you have to put some subscribers into it. And there are way, different ways to do this. You can import contacts from an external file such as an Excel file or a comma separated file. You can manually add people to the list. Let's go ahead and click on import contacts and show you what this looks like. How are we going to do this? Well, we can import a file from our computer. We can upload a list from Constant Contact if we've been utilizing that as our email program, or we can simply copy and paste things from Excel. All of those are pretty easy. If we upload a file, then you just go in there and click on Import List and upload that file. Let's say that instead we want to manually subscribe somebody. We can click on the Subscribe link, put in the name of someone that we wish to subscribe to our email. So let's just go ahead and say that this is going to be info at webstoreslimited.com and it's going to be me, Greg Jameson. The email type, I'm going to receive this as HTML and then you have to manually click that this person has given you permission to add them to the list so that you aren't just blanketly spamming people. And then you subscribe that person. So you, like I said, you can do that for each and every person that you would bring into this. Alternatively, you can click on the import link to bring in a bunch of people into your list. Now you can have multiple lists within your account. And one of the things that you can do if we come back to the main list page, we can see here that we have in fact three lists for this account. Let's go to our test list and we can go in here to the subscribers and we can see who has subscribed to this list and one of the things that we can do here is we can actually segment a list. So if we have a list of a thousand people and we want to segment that list down further we can do that with the segment tool basically saying that if they match certain criteria then they are going to be a subset of that list. 
So lists are very powerful. You need to have at least one list in order to proceed with doing anything else with MailChimp. So one list with at least one email subscriber before you can continue. And the next step that we will talk about in the next video then will be once we have the list, how to get additional people to sign up for that list using sign up forms.